Welcome back. Well, hundreds of people are packing the Congress Avenue Bridge tonight to celebrate the Austin Bats. People began gathering earlier this afternoon in that triple-digit heat. Fox 7 Austin's Lauren Rangel joins us live from the bridge tonight. Lauren, how is turnout so far? Hey, John. Well, the crowd only seems to be growing as temperatures cool down and night settles in. Bats tend to leave under Congress Avenue Bridge around dusk. I'm afraid to say it, but I think we got here a little too late. I haven't seen any bats tonight, but I have seen quite a few people dressed up as bats or have bat-themed outfits. I think it's safe to say the celebration is just getting started here. We had to wait to come as a pair of bats, you know, because they live all in big groups and just wanted to, like I said, celebrate them. Perla Guzman showed up the hour gates opened Saturday afternoon to celebrate Austin's annual bat fest. And this is my first bat fest and I've always heard about it, never been, and I thought it was time to see the bats the way they're truly supposed to be seen. Summer is the peak time to watch the one and a half million Mexican free-tailed bats fly out into the city. A great time for them to look for their next meal, but for humans... Thank God they let us bring in water, so that's good, but it is a little, it's a little brutal right now, I'm not going to lie. We're picking it up now, it opened up at 4 o'clock, so now everyone's coming in for their waters. Temperatures hit over 100 Saturday, and we'll stay in the 90s for the rest of Batfest. I got fans, I got tons of water. The um, road road roadway productions are doing a great job making sure we all have ice. Vendors like Sunny Tate have been out for even longer, but say it's worth every drop of sweat. In my family, much to my husband's disapproval, spooky season starts July 5th. And so whenever I heard Bat Fest, spooky season, get it started in August, I was super excited. Tate isn't the only one excited. Thousands of people lined up on Congress Avenue Bridge to check out unique vendors, food, and music. Come enjoy a party. It's going to get dark soon, so come watch us. Good time. Well, Bat Fest ends at midnight, and if you're worried about the heat, you can bring your own water bottles into the event. Live in downtown Austin, Lauren Rangel, Fox 7 Austin News.